my friends from Knott's Berry Farm here in Buena Park, California. Behind me is Accelerator, which has been closed for the longest time. I think it reopened not too long ago. I might have just missed it by a few days here back when I was here for Not Scary Farms 50th. But anyway, it's been a while since I've been here. I'm excited to check this park out, unspookified, and also there's a peanut celebration going on. I don't know what we'll be able to see from that, but I invite you to come along. Let's go. Now I'm here pretty early, so there hasn't been too many trains going here. I do know it's operating. I saw one train. Hopefully, I don't know what the uptime downtime is for this, but this gives me some serious like King Ka vibes. Oh. Pretty sure it's one of those Intamin hydraulic ones. There it goes. Walking through the queue here, I really like how you get to go right underneath the top hat here. It's been a little slow going with the one train ops, but I'm the next one up. That was an overall real solid ride. I'm about to hop in line again, but for those of you wondering at home, this is my 318th coaster. That's right, I keep, I'm keeping count of my coaster credits like a good coaster nerd. So I ended up waiting for the front row and that definitely is worth it. If there's not too many trains going, I know because of the one train ops, it can take a little while to get on the front. It was well worth it. It was well worth it. Uh, the launch, uh, the hydraulic launch is pretty solid. I think we're clocking in at like 80, 85 miles per hour, somewhere around there. I didn't double check our CDB before I started recording, silly me, but it is one of the fastest roller coasters in California. The views from the top hat were pretty solid. And then just going back and forth, surrounded by like the little palms that whiz by, like it's a solid ride. While I'm walking over to hang time, across the way from that is Coast Rider here. It's a solid little sort of uh, wild mouse type of ride. But now just across the way here, it is hang time. I do love the stall on the lift hill. There they go. Very nice of Knott's to have these signs up where it does say there is a storage bin up at the station here. With all the waiting on the single train ops, I think that was our afternoon there. So for the rest of the day, I think we're gonna head over here and see what the peanuts are doing. I have been seeing these peanut celebration signs all over the place and they look great and they're themed for every area. However, most of the entertainment I found out, like this show that's here, it's some pretty cool stage show that only happens on the weekend. So I'm sad to say I'm not gonna be able to see too many peanut shows. I think there's only meet and greets happening at this point and something, some sort of activity for the kids, even though it's Thursday and there is still a decent amount of people here. So not being able to see any entertainment seems to be the trend for me on my visits to Knott's. However, the Calico Mine Train is open and it looks to be a walk-on, so we're gonna head right in. Howdy y'all, this here is Pete Snoop's Box Speed. I discovered this here Calico Mountain back in 1882. You might say I'm the back of this here. One blast of boiling hot muddle, burn the whiskers right off your face. too sure what to expect going into it but now I see what it, it gives me like some major like Knobles Black Diamond vibes where you're going down into some mines there's some explosions and stuff there's some really quirky like lighting scenarios there was a cavern of some kind it was were those supposed to be like the rainbow caverns or something and then the explosions in the grand finale uh, also there was like this really steep 
hill that we went up and everybody who was in the cart with me, they were all like squishing into each other. I grabbed the front of mine and just held on there so I didn't squish any strangers. And sadly, the Timber Mountain log ride here is not operating. Looks like it's drained right now. I know it's the slow season and for us in the Northeast, it is the off season. The interesting thing that I forgot to mention was that this was actually refurbished in 2014. Actually, do I hear entertainment? I think I hear entertainment. Uh, this is like the kids' entertainment. They're going to be playing like horseshoes and other types of things. I thought because they were singing it was a show, but it is not. She's just the host, a talented host at that. I had been hoping to check out this, the, some of the exclusive Peanut Celebration food. However, this is one of a few locations that I've noticed are only open on the weekends. I did miss that somewhere on the website or on their guide map, but there it is. While searching for food, I found it pretty hilarious that this is where they actually stuck Pigpen for his meet and greet. I'm definitely going to check the times and see if we can come back and see him. Starting to notice a theme here where there's just not that many food locations open and that just means lines everywhere. I wonder if the, how I'm, if like, I don't know where to go for food now. There's just not many places that are open and the ones that are open are just super packed. All right, finally, I found a place that wasn't super packed. Casa California Restaurant. And they have this from the Peanut Celebration, the Charlie Brown's 10-inch burrito with mac and cheese, ground beef, and queso. Let's give it a shot. Something I just noticed and wanted to share with you guys is that they actually have glass bottle sodas here, including the, is that Mexican Coke? I think it is. Awesome. Yeah, it's here at, uh, what is this called? Casa California in Fiesta Village. And here it is, the Charlie Brown burrito. It says on the menu it was a 10-inch burrito. However, Compared to my hand, yeah, it's my hand. My hands aren't big, but they're not 10 inches. Um, or anyway, let's just dig in and see how it is. Giving you a quick close-up here of the inside. I expected it to be more of a mushy mess, but there are some textures in there, so that's a relief. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish my not quite 10 inch burrito and we'll go from there. I forgot to mention it, but I spotted this while I was walking by and wandering around for food, but yeah, Ghost Rider, not open today. I was really hoping to be able to get some photos and videos of this, maybe even walk outside the park to try to do it. But sadly, not today. Been wandering around Ghost Town a bit. It's just crazy. Like the last time I was here was Scary Farm for the 50th. The energy was nonstop. The sliders were everywhere. And now I'm about to turn this quarter here and go say hi to Pigpen instead. Before meeting Pigpen, I wanted to show you there are some pigs here just snacking away, having dinner. Kind of arguing, fighting over the food. All right, I'm here with the world famous pig pen here at the peanut celebration. There's something that I carried around with me all the time when I go to the theme parks that I wanted you to see. It's you. It's yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many people walk around with a pig pen, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to show you that. And maybe there's nobody else in line. Can I try to guess what your favorite roller coaster is here? All right, is it Accelerator? No. Okay. Is it Ghost Rider? Yes. Yeah. You like go. You like the wooden coasters. All right. I knew Pigpen would like those things old school. The rides. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's so great running into you today, and hopefully, I'll see you soon. This is actually my first time meeting you, and so this is kind of a big deal for me. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a great day, man. <laughs> Thanks again, Pigpen. It was awesome meeting you. I don't believe I've ever met him over at Dorney or any of the other Cedar Fair parks that I've been to. So the fact that he had his very own meet and greet here was kind of cool. And yes, I showed him the, um, the backpack hanger that I have of Pigpen. I got that randomly at King's Dominion one day and then I've never seen it available anywhere else ever since. But uh, <laughs> I always wonder what it must be like to have like to be Pigpen or any one of the performers here and just have this grown guy being like hey how you doing look at this check that out and like take this one minute long clip have this interaction that's just kind of like a little a little too much maybe I don't know I don't know if it's too much or not so I did as much of the peanut celebration stuff as I could there was one show geared towards kids there are a couple other meet and greets I think Franklin and then like a general rotating peanuts one but the stage shows and all that stuff are reserved for the weekends. Apparently a lot of the food is also reserved for just the weekend, so there weren't too many food locations over today, leading to a lot of lines. However, going on the Calico Mine Ride was a lot of fun, and finally getting on Accelerator was great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what 
if you've been here, what your favorite thing here is to do, if you've been to Peanut Celebration, let me know. The shows look great. I really wish I could have been here on the weekend to see those. But before I go on and on and on and on, I'm going to cut this one here. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.